are you? Woo. As you can see, I have the drag pretty tight and he's still. At least we're having some fun. Look at the size of that ladyfish. He fought really good. What's going on everybody? April 5th, 2024, TGIF, it's a Friday, and if you've been watching my videos lately, you've seen I've been struggling to get on the fish lately. So the last time that happened where I figured that I, I think I might be forgetting how to fish, or maybe I should change my channel to hanging out with Thumper instead of Thumper Fishing, I went over to Port Canaveral for a little redemption tour, and we got on some sheep's head and a bunch of other stuff. So I thought maybe we'll do that again. Port Canaveral is usually a good spot to get on some fish, whatever it is. And um, so I figured, yeah, we'll go hit that up. I didn't get up early enough to get the perfect tide that I was wanting on the outgoing tide. We're going to get there maybe, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours before low tide. So we might have to fish through the slack tide. But you never know what you might get in the port. So the goal, hopefully we can grab some pompano. I have been craving some pompano lately, so I'd love to get some of those and, and, and cook them up. But I think we're gonna stop at the bait shop and get some live shrimp today. I'm still debating on whether I wanna go out to the jetties or fish in the port. Not too sure yet. We're gonna fish for three and a half, four hours today before I gotta get back. It's a little chilly this morning, 58, but it's gonna warm up to mid 70s, upper 70s here in three, four hours. So 8.30, we'll probably be in the water by nine. So, and I didn't, I did my checklist. I didn't forget my rods. I didn't forget my seat. Yeah, that's happened before. I don't know what vlog that was. Maybe I'll put it over here, but yeah, I, I went all the way to Port Canaveral, started unloading and realized I forgot my seat. It can't really, kayak fish without a seat you know so or rods so yeah we got that taken care of i just used an old whiteboard to kind of take care of it anyway everybody enough jibber jabber let's get after it all right see you in the water it in the water this boat ramp is a little bit tricky when it's closer to low tide it's really slippery so 
kind of like to just push it off. So we're gonna fish until the tide starts coming up and make it easier to uh, get back on there. Anyway, guys, let's get out there. All right, we're out here. Some sunscreen. Don't get sunscreen on your, your, your gear. I think we'll try the live shrimp first. This lady fish is huge. Nineteen to the fork. Big old lady fish. That's going to be some good bait. Can't find them again. Let's just try it here real quick. A lot of bait fish. There is a lot of people at the jetties right now. 
a lot. I avoid that. I'm here to enjoy myself, not, not battle with other people. I'm here to battle fish. I'm here to battle the fish. The fish are definitely on the move. If you find them, they're moving on pretty dang fast. There's a bait of something moving through me right now. So, about 13 feet. I'm telling you, as soon as I cast out, poof. They're gone. Poof. We got something, we got something moving in right now. All right, let's see. Bet you it's a bunch of ladyfish, but I'll take it right now. Move forward to see if they're going that way or if they're going that way. I can't really tell on this thing. You guys probably can't hear me with the wind. All right, they're definitely going this way. Ladyfish. Just chasing my tail. fun. Look at the size of that ladyfish. He fought really good. Oh my goodness, that's a big old ladyfish. Let's get a measurement on him real quick. Again, 19 to the fork. Ladyfish this big, but they are actually pretty fun on light tackle. That one fought 
pretty dang good. I've always caught smaller ladyfish, so, you know, I just, I figured, ah, ladyfish, but we're gonna take those home and we're gonna chop them up into like two inch chunks, put them in the freezer, and we'll be set for bait for redfish later on. Mm, those are gonna be good bait because they're slimy and oily. Oh, there's no one. Oh, he just threw the hook way the heck over there. Oh, that was fun. Wow. Those ladyfish, that's why they call them the poor man's tarpon, because they are fighters. Especially when you get them that size. I have been able to keep the hook in for the most part. That was the first one that I actually lost and uh, usually they throw the hook a lot better but I'm telling you I like these new hooks let me see if I can get one let me see if I can get one to show you guys Ooh. all right well I don't know where the wrapper is so I'll put it in I'll put these hooks in right here. These hooks by Spearpoint. I have noticed when I do use them, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm just saying, when I've used them, especially with things like these ladyfish that like to throw the hook, that these hooks do stay in place um, a lot better than the traditional just curved hook. So, I mean, I keep trying them. And as you can see, that was the first ladyfish of the of uh, the day that actually threw it. But I mean, I battled that one for a while, and he put he did like six or seven jumps. And the first one too, he did like four or five jumps, and that hook stayed right there. So definitely check out Spearpoint. They got some good good hooks. Let's see if we can't get a couple more. Well, that was a bite. Oh, dang, that was a big hit. Dang, this is a lot of fun. As you can see, I have the drag pretty tight, and he's still. <sighs> Not bad for a ladyfish, I give. Come on. No, he's way over here to the right or the left here. Oh, now he's going back this way. Or the those spear point hooks, that's what you gotta use. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Alright. Super can't get.
get on another one. I'm having fun with this. I just needed to catch something. I get some of you out there probably like, ah, oh, ladyfish. But when you're having fun, you're having fun. About 14 feet of water here. Oh, there's a oh. what are you Woo. yeah tighten that up just a little Oh my gosh! What is this? It hasn't come up and jumped like a ladyfish yet though. No, it is a ladyfish. Another giant ladyfish. Come on in here. Oh. Jeez, these things are huge. Man, these things are hitting like a freight train, too. Light tackle. That was a good hook set, too, because he's still not you know, coming loose. Chill out, my dude. I still had those spear point hooks because we're gonna have to tie another one on. Man, I just got done changing hooks. I'm gonna have to take my gloves off. They're covered in slime. Those guys are some slimy little turds. So I have gone, I've gone through all my shrimp, but uh, had to keep changing the, tying a new hook on, I'm telling you, those spear point hooks, I thought they looked super funky, but I figured I'd give them a shot. And uh, I'm just noticing that I have a, a better hook set and the hook stand set a lot more than it would be if, hang on. Got another one. Ooh, well that thing jumped like five feet. Get 
getting slimy today. And he just cut the hook off and bounced out. The, at least the hook on that one. Damn, there's a whole school of giant ladyfish in here right now. If you want some good redfish bait, shark bait, ladyfish is the best. They make great, great, great cup bait. So I think on this trip alone, I'm gonna be set for the rest of the year, probably. After this one, we're gonna have to put a new leader on because <laughs> and we'll see if we can still get them with a small little leader like that. Let's try a super teeny little sh shrimp. See if they're still, let's see if they're like eating anything and everything. Once we're out of shrimp, we're gonna try and toss out obviously uh, maybe an artificial shrimp. That guy literally bit off the line and then jumped out crazy like. All right, let's get back to my little my little honey hole. They like to be sitting right there. Actually, you know what? I'm picking up some right here. Let's get the other camera ready, huh? Man, we are on it. Who says you can't catch them all? Like I said, they're just ladyfish, but oh my gosh, get over here. On slack tide, it's good practice. It wouldn't be a fishing trip without a catfish. Don't poke me, you butthole. That little turd ate my shrimp. Oh, it's a bite. Gotcha. It's fighting a little better. Oh, lost them at the end there. I'm telling you guys, those spear point, those spear point hooks. They do 10 times better. Look, he just threw the hook again. When I was using those hooks, I had zero throws, I think. Well, maybe one. I think I had one throw compared to, you know, traditional hook. We're gonna have to change that leader up here real quick. All right, well, off camera, I just lost two more ladyfish. Just straight up tossing these hooks. 
I'm gonna have to order more of those spear point hooks. Definitely gonna have to order more. So you guys, if you're looking to get some too, just wait for me to order them first so they don't run out. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you guys. Definitely check them out though. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend it if it wasn't working for me. So, but like I said, I, I might use those hooks when I'm tarpon fishing with live bait. I might actually do that. But then again, I usually use circle hooks, but I guess there's a time and place for it. There's a bite. Oh, he came back for it. Oh, what happened? I'm just chewing through my last shrimp here. Man, these things they always want to go under me and behind me. Crap. Did you get out? Yeah, okay, good. Alright, buddy. You're not super big, but we're gonna let you let you be. Come here. I'm gonna poop and everything first real quick before I get you on, on board. It's just ladyfish guys, but like I said, when they're that big, they're, they're pretty fun. I know there's some of you watching this going, man, move spots already, you're just wasting your shrimp or whatever, but these are some big ladyfish. I'm having a blast. So you know what? Let's get another one. Remember when they jump like that, bow, bow it down. Bow. Okay. I bow to you. I bow. Oh no! Oh man, that guy. He deserved to live. Oh, I lost him. Man, I was hoping for like a flounder or something, but man, this is a small, <laughs> look at the size of the shrimp. <laughs> Why not, right? Let's just see. Why not? We recording? Yeah, let's see if we can get something on a super teeny little shrimp. Yeah, nice little croaker. That's good bait too. You hear him croaking? Unfortunately, I'm not down. I don't have anything to keep him, but oh, poop over here. Nice little croak. Man, everything I have right now has got slime on it. But that's why they make such a good cup bait though. They're so slimy and oily. Like if you're gonna throw out a cup bait, that's definitely my 
I've had more luck with cut ladyfish. As a matter of fact, that big bull shark, the big bull shark that I caught right here in the Indian River, Coco, I caught that on half a ladyfish. Of course, the ladyfish wasn't as big as these. It was like an eight inch ladyfish cut in half. So like a good sized chunk of ladyfish. So ladyfish are definitely a good, good, good cut bait. Ah, so nice out right now. Some might see this as a fail, you know, just catching ladyfish, but or bait fish because we got the croaker and catfish, but it's fishing. I'm loving it. Now <sighs> oh, that breeze is so good. Oh. Just had it. Just had a hit. Take our bait. No, it's still there. He got a piece of it, but. And it seems like I think the rest of today and tomorrow I'm going to do some gear maintenance, clean things, lubricate. Because, especially after today, everything's taking a beat. And I'll show you guys a picture later of what the. Actually, I'll put it in right here. Slimy, everything is. So. Alright, see if we can't get anything. Like I said, some flounder would be nice. teeth <laughs> that Spanish didn't bite much at all but oh what time is it oh and they're really burning something over by uh, NASA Get my bait. Nope, he's still on there. Or he came back and got it. That's a little better. Ladyfish. I mean, I was trying to horse him in a little bit there, but I could have finessed it a little bit better. I only had one of those hooks on my rod, and it was holding up great. 
once I switched over, you could really tell the difference. Lots of ladyfish today. A Spanish, a croaker. We had a hardhead catfish, a sail catfish. What else can we get? That just scared me. A giant manatee just popped up right next to me. <laughs> oh wow. You scared the you know what out of me, buddy. Alright, just missed it. He just came up right here and say hello to me. Don't follow me. I don't feel like going for a swim today. All right, well, the bait's gone. Something grabbed it. I don't know how many shrimp I have left. See, here he comes. What the heck? <laughs> you little monkey. <laughs> this guy will not leave me alone. Oh, man. I thought I heard something next to me and I look and his giant tail was right there. <sighs> and wind's slowly picking up a little bit more. Oh, oh, oh this is good. False alarm. Big old sail cat. Sail cat. Second thing. Oh, hang on. I'm a little over the place. That fish knocked the camera around here. But catching stuff should always be a secondary thing. And I think people will come out here with an expectation like I did with, you know, catching some pompano or something like that. And then when you don't get it, you're upset. No, you got to roll with it. And today, the ladyfish are going crazy. And it's a lot of fun. And I had a great time. And I needed this today. And I'm sure some of you out there are thinking, oh my gosh, it's just ladyfish. Yeah, 
hey, to each the road, but I'm having a blast and that's all that matters. And I'm gonna be stocked up. We're gonna take those ladyfish home. We're gonna cut them into maybe two inch chunks. And that's gonna be perfect redfish bait for when we go to the Mosquito Lagoon or Hollow Her in those areas. So super pumped for that. I'll put a, a, a picture right over here of my cooler. I could keep stacking them up. I, I don't think there's a limit or it's a, it's a really big limit for the ladyfish because they are considered a bait fish. If we get one right now, I'll keep them. All right, let's see what we can do. But like I was saying, I needed a day like today. Just. I don't have to catch, you know, the biggest or the best fish or certain species. I just need to come out here, have fun, and catch fish. And this is exactly what I needed. Exactly what I needed. All right, we're drifting through another little group of fish here. Not sure what they are. So what did we catch today? Ladyfish. New PB ladyfish for sure. That thing is giant. The biggest one I think was 21 and a half, maybe 22. We'll double check when we get home. A bunch of 19 and 20s ladyfish. Decent sized croaker. Hardhead catfish. And a handful of sail catfish. Once they started opening that lock and people were coming and going, those uh, <laughs> those sail cats came in here heavy. Oh, and we caught a Spanish mackerel small but yeah so we've got multi it's been a uh what would you call it a multi-species day for sure and i am actually planning on trying to get out this sunday too and i you know usually i avoid the weekend crowds but i might have a surprise for you guys um the the next video after this so tomorrow i'll, I'll recoup clean all my gear do all the fun stuff and um, like I said I'm gonna try a new spot and we're gonna be fishing with a buddy of mine that also has got a channel and we're gonna see what we can get into so stay tuned for that I'm not sure I probably won't get to posting it that day you know it takes a little time to, to, to go through this stuff and edit the videos so look for that on Monday for sure All right, I guess we should start heading back. I guess we should start heading back. You know what, though? Instead of pedaling back, let's just drift and fish our way back. Let's just drift and fish our way back. Look how dirty, dirty, dirty. What do we got going on in here? Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Real pretty fish though. Super pretty fish. And they're gonna make great bait. We're gonna turn those into some giant redfish. Just watch, stay tuned for that. All right, let's get this unloaded packed up let's get home all right well i was gonna head out but i gotta sit here and wait a minute my pump's saying that my blood sugar is like 60 and straight down like in other words it's telling me i'm gonna be in deep trouble here in a minute but i don't i guess i could feel it a little bit but i guess i paddle in i burn more sugars than i thought so i gotta sit here a little bit so it doesn't hit me when i drive 
Oh, what a day, everybody. What a day. I needed a day like today. I'll admit the first hour or so, I didn't think I was gonna get on anything. Wasn't getting any bites. There was tons of people at the jetty and the guys weren't, you know, there was a couple people hooking up, but the guys that I met, they were at the jetties and they said that they weren't hooking up and that's why they started heading over to the locks as well or the bite just wasn't that good i don't know i didn't go over there just going off of word of mouth but um yeah once i noticed that those ladyfish were going through there i just figured you know what i just need some fun i just need to catch something i just need to reel in something and that's what we did and we caught some monster ladyfish i mean check these ladyfish out i thought the ladyfish the last time i went what was it like 17, 18, no, maybe 19, I can't remember. But I thought that was a big one until I saw the ones today. And catching those ladyfish on light tackle, that's a lot of fun. I'll admit, they fought a lot harder than I thought they would. I've only caught smaller ladyfish, so I just kind of looked at them as like almost something like mullet, you know, but they are a lot of fun. And, um, you know, because they, they, they fight, they jump, they, you know, that's why they call them the poor man's tarpon, you know. But, uh, yeah, so you know, that was great. And then today too, I also realized that, you know, I was already kind of leaning towards those spear point hooks, but um, after today, especially for this kind of fishing where you're using a J hook and not a circle hook, I think that's what I'm gonna go with for now on. Um, you know, I fished a, a good hour and a half with that uh, spear point hook and then, uh, you know, a good two hours with two other types of just straight, straight J hooks and they were throwing it a lot less and it was almost it was hard for me to get those spear point hooks out they were just they um they keep the wiggle i think a lot um they, they mitigate a lot of that, that that wiggle so me personally i think i might go home and order a couple more uh yeah so but uh yeah i'm rambling right now sorry where was I? But no, but we caught all the different kind of stuff today. I mean, we had some fun with the manatee that just had a thing for my kayak. I'm not sure what that was, but he was pretty cool or she was pretty cool. And we got ladyfish, croaker, Spanish mackerel, hardhead catfish, and a handful of um, sail catfish. A lot of slimy stuff. I have some chores to do when I get home. I personally am slimy. My kayak is slimy. And all these ladyfish that you see here, I'm gonna take them home and I am gonna cut them into you know good sized chunks for fishing and put them in a bag and put them in the freezer and I should be set. I shouldn't have to buy ladyfish for the rest of the year, I think. I don't know, I guess it depends on how much we fish, but which is all the time, so we might need a bunch. Anyway, everybody, I appreciate you guys for watching. I need to get back home. I need to get everything cleaned up, lubed up. Like I said, I'm thinking about going out on Sunday, do a little inshore fishing, see if we can't hook up on some redfish, maybe some drum. I wouldn't mind some mangrove snappers, uh, but yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm feeling it now. Yeah, all right, well, I gotta sit here. Yeah, saying I'm, I'm still straight down. So I'm gonna try and pound this sugary delicious nutritious mountain dew and bring up my blood sugar here before i drive because i do not want to get into an accident i should be good going but you gotta roll with it right you gotta roll with it anyway everybody for all you guys that have been watching me and my channel you know i've been struggling the last two weeks i appreciate all the support i appreciate you guys for watching and i will catch you in the next one don't forget to get outside this weekend if you can Tight lines, everybody. Peace. Hey. So, show us, show them what we got, ladies. Come on, Liberty, show them what you got. All right. We've got lots of little individual bags for some redfish fishing. Already, yes, I know you love me. I love you. You want to go fishing with me one day? Do you? I think we'll have to plan it. I'm gonna probably take her fishing with me because she, ever since the puppy, she's been acting a little funny, a little. I think she's depressed. Not as much attention. So anyway, we got plenty of bags for cup bait here. 
stay. And uh, stay. This one, this bigger bag right here is gonna be sharks for when I want a shark fish. This, the heads and tails, is gonna be crab bait. This is perfect blue crab bait, shark bait, and redfish. So yeah, turn those guys into, that's gonna save me some money this summer for sure. Thank you.